We've seen the economy go backwards about 20%. For every pound we were earning uh, this time last year, we're now only earning about 80p, quite a substantial cut in aggregate across the economy. That, I guess, is unsurprising to some degree. If you put the whole economy into the deep freeze and you close down vast amounts of economic activity, you expect that. There's two things, however, which are particularly worrying. The first is that we're not bouncing back very quickly. So some people have talked about the supposed V-shaped recovery. Sure, we go down very fast, but we'll bounce back very fast. The very early indications uh, from the figures are that we're only crawling back, not bouncing back. That's quite a concern. And I think laid on top of that is another concern. It's not just that we've gone backward during lockdown and are now beginning to emerge from it. I actually think a good number of the economic consequences of lockdown have yet to be felt. Uh, Unemployment hasn't zoomed up yet because we've had the furlough scheme, which has allowed employers to make people temporarily redundant and the government picks up the bill. Well, that's going to come to an end in October. So I fear, actually, that these numbers showing the unsurprising rate of our economic decline, the disappointing rate of our recovery, um, are pretty grim news. It's going to be very difficult to get the economy back to where it was in February of this year. Uh, We're going to have to have a really sensible and radical set of policies to do that, not just sort of bombastic optimism. If you're hoping for a very quick bounce back, you need a good number of factors to come together. Firstly, people need to be able to swiftly return to their normal working conditions. And although we're easing away from lockdown, that's not really happening. I mean, for perhaps for good health reasons, but we still have social distancing, a good number of offices remain closed, the hospitality sector is still in large part in lockdown. So people aren't able, even as we ease lockdown, to yet return to their normal productive behaviour patterns. We're edging towards that, but we haven't sprung back to what we had uh, at the start of this year before the pandemic hit us. And the second problem is even if you could spring back, even if you were going about your job as a pub landlord or as a shopkeeper in the normal way and you were seeing uh, your income start to go up, how confident are you feeling about the next three weeks, three months, 12 months? And if you're worried that your income is going to stay pretty low, perhaps you're worried that you're one of the people who are actually going to be made redundant and on some estimates there could be literally millions of workers out of work, If you haven't got that confidence that things are going to swiftly return back to normal, well, then you are hesitant about spending. The sort of decisions that you might have made uh, if if times were good and the weather was sunny uh, in economic terms, you're probably delaying. You're probably not buying a new car, upgrading your computer, um, buying some new clothes. You're probably putting that on hold.